I suppose we better talk about your team. Well, I was wondering. I mean, how long we've been in here now? What, 35 minutes it's taken you to mention the performance of the weekend? It, well, it didn't take you long to do it on the group chat <laughs> to give me a bit of stick. It's, it's battering talk. Talk but... about tactical masterclasses. Eddie schooled Ange. No doubt about it. He did. Three at the three, played three at the back, changed the system, went man for man, pressed them high. And Spurs couldn't uh, couldn't handle it. He wasn't prepared to change no. at all. And it is it's a hell of a way of playing. To- I mean, Tottenham's when they push the fullbacks right in, and and not only that, but you've got two central defenders playing really really high. Sometimes in the, in the opposition's half, and if you've got no pressure on the ball, um, it's so easy for. I was thinking, God blow it. I'd love to play against that. I mean, you just spin yeah. in behind every time. It'd be like the kind of, you know, I was the player that loved to spin all the time. I know, Alan, you should like to get behind defenders as well. I mean, that's like, whoa, you'd be licking your lips when you're at the... I mean, I, I, I respect and I like that he's he's got his way and he, he wants to stick yeah. that way. Me too, but me too. Yeah. sometimes you're going to have to change because there's no doubt teams will suss that out and they're already starting to suss it out. Um, I know Spurs have had a really good season, but I mean, Micah, you told me that Van der Ven was an unbelievable centre back. Yeah, did well, he just have a bad uh, day yesterday, you know, did he? Against a quality player, a, a bad day at the office with zero protection. Mm. That's what I would say. What's your opinion of trying to play offside in your own half? <laughs> it's not wise. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, you, you know what? You know when you're a defender, and you got that pace, Al. You just I don't want to say you switch off, but you always just think your pace is going to get you out of trouble. Mm. But when you've got someone like Isak, who's quick and also can twist and turn, and finish. that is the problem. He, took, he had his pants down, didn't he? Spurs are one of those teams who do attack. They're going to stick to their principles. I, I, I think it's unfair for people to say Spurs have sort of not being as they've just done what they've usually do all season. They've just basically not scoring and finishing off the chances. Madison got injured at a bad time. Yeah. Son went to the the Asian Cup, which sort of killed their momentum a, a, a little bit. Kudasevsky doesn't look quite the same. Which Charleston has obviously had his problems and got injured. Um, but they still are yeah. a very good team, and yeah. on their day, they can beat anyone. And they're really good too. The one thing I would say, I would say. Overall, this season, it's been a massive improvement on the previous years where Spurs fans, and I, you know, I've obviously massive affinity towards the football club. I mean, it was, it was, it's been fairly drab. And mm-hmm. suddenly you got, yes, it can be a bit hit and miss as we saw at the weekend, but they play exciting football and they go for it. And it's adventurous, it's entertaining, and you're never going to be bored, are you? No. You're never going to be bored, but I, I do believe, um, especially when I was doing the analysis, is they they basically, I don't say missing a number six, but if you're going to go that high as a midfield pair with Basuma and Benton Kerr, who played on, on, on the Saturday, the need to to know what each of them are doing. So half the team was caught up the field yes. and then you've got your centre half staying on the, the halfway line, but not reading the situation. It's just that communication or someone who could just sit in front of the back four just to give them a little bit more protection. Yeah. 